Hello, this is Bob Gray Sr. Welcome to Ministry Moments podcast, Ministry Moments YouTube. You can go to Bob Gray Sr. and uh, subscribe. You'll get it there just as regular as clockwork. And then softchurchproblems.com. You can go there and subscribe. And if you're unable to be with us at three o'clock central time each Friday, then you can go back and review and go over it. Now, last week I talked to you about Church Finances 101. And uh, today I want to talk to you about Stewardship Month, Stewardship Month. And um, maybe let me just uh, a little rationale here and kind of kind of uh, help you. I had uh, we've had over 400 graduates from our college, Texas Baptist College. And one of the young men, very successful, doing just a great job. And I went to preach for him and he, he said, I need to talk to you. And I said, well, what, what is it? And he said, all of a sudden, he said, um, my finances are not what they ought to be. And I said, are, are you, uh, at, do you have a time where you work on it? I mean, just teach on it, preach on it, and so on and so forth. Well, he said, I used to. He said, I did what you did. I used to have a stewardship month. He said, but it's been a few years since I've had it because things were going so well, I didn't think I needed to do it. Now, there's, there's, there's fallacy in that, in that uh, thread. Uh, please understand that this is not something you do because things are bad or you quit doing because things are good. This is something that you have to continue to do if you are a soul winning church. Now, if you're winning people, baptizing people, and people are joining and people are, being, are coming in, you have to do this because you've got so many new people coming in that they're going to have to understand the Bible philosophy and principles concerning this matter of finances. Uh, there's what I call the Joseph principle, seven years of feast and seven years of famine. It's going to happen. I don't care. I, this is my 50th year of ministry. I'm just telling you it's going to happen. Now, stewardship month is a month, a way of punching that reset button to remind everybody what the Bible has to say. And so you teach those practical aspects of finances. And you really, the whole idea of stewardship month is not to get the offerings up. That's a, that's not bad <laughs> for that, but the object is to help your people get control of their finances. Uh, he, if, if he's going to take care, if, if God's people take care of the least, God will trust you with true riches. The Bible is very clear about that. So, the job of stewardship month is not to increase the coffers of, of the church, although that's necessary, but it is to take the people and uh, become a living sacrifice. Romans 12, 1 and 2, you present your body a living sacrifice. And so that's that's the purpose of it. So I guess not to get the offerings up. Um, now, it will. And eventually, it will do so. But I'm just saying to you, it's it's a way of helping your people I had 33 deacons on the deacon board. Many of them had their houses paid off and they were debt free. And they were very grateful to me uh, when, I, when, when I, I retired. So enough of that. Okay. Let's talk about stewardship. Month. Number one, have one regardless of how well you're doing or not doing. Have one schedule regardless of how well you're doing or not, or not doing. Uh, if you're doing great, you say, well, I don't need it. You, well, you will need it. If you're doing bad, you need it. Uh, so, and all of it's not going to be a cured. All your ills are going to financially, there's going to be cured by having one stewardship month. It's got to be an annual affair. Well, the house said to me, he said, I've only got 12 topics. And he said, I just revisited them. Boy, could he, could he package them? I mean, I asked him one time. In fact, I had one of his deacons gave me that, that list. Uh, but before that, I asked him, I said, can I look at that list? He said, no. He said, get your own. <laughs> All right. So have one stewardship month each year, regardless of what you're doing or not doing. All right. Number two, set aside one month a year, an entire month. Okay. And here's what you want to do. You want to teach and preach and give testimonies. Teach, preach, and give testimonies. So set aside one month. Ours happened to be January and our budget was voted on and began February 1st, back in those days. And so set aside one month, a year to teach, to preach, and have testimonies. Uh, and really, basically, you want to uh, biblically how to handle time, talent, and treasure. That's the emphasis, time, talent, and treasure. Number four, 
have Sunday school lessons for all age groups. We had Mrs. Vicki Britt who wrote the elementary lessons. She had the adult lessons and she would then uh, write elementary lessons, but I wanted it from top to bottom, top to bottom. In fact, uh, I know Southern Baptist churches, when a kid is born, they put an envelope box in his hand. <laughs> uh, and uh, I started doing that, so I, I stole that from them. But Stewardship Month, have one regardless of, of how well you're doing or not doing. You got every year, have it have set aside, put it in your calendar. Set aside one month a year to teach, preach, and the testimonies uh, about time, talent, and treasure. Next, number three, Sunday school lessons for all age groups. Number four, uh, have, have uh, testimonies Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. Before the preaching on Sunday morning, we had a layman come up and he would testify God's blessing because he was faithful. Uh, and then Sunday night and Wednesday night, and oh, did that make a difference? That was probably more of an impact than anything that we did it was just great great testimonies all right number five decorations you decorate i don't i'm a decoration nut i know that but decorate that that auditorium i mean <laughs> decorate when they walk in my wife used to say they come in on wednesday night and all the decorations are up she'd lean over to the people sitting next to her and said well he's after money he's got the decorations <laughs> but uh don't have a bible theme you ought to have banners everywhere. Every class ought to be decorated. Everybody, a big, big push. This is Stewardship Month. It's an important thing. It's important enough that we take time for it. All right? Decorations. Next, Bible theme. Have a Bible theme that permeate the, everything. The, the auditorium, the Sunday school lessons, uh, the Sunday school classrooms themselves, and all that have a Bible theme. So number one, have one month, Stewardship Month, regardless of how well you're doing or not doing. Number two, set aside one month a year to teach, preach, and have testimonies uh, about time, talent, and treasure. Three, Sunday school lessons for all age groups, top to bottom. Four, layman testimonies before every sermon, before every Bible study. Decorations, a Bible theme. Number seven, teach practical lessons on Wednesday night. I love Wednesday night. I could teach practical lessons on finances, time, talent, and treasure. But, oh, I wanted to help them so much. And again, you got to understand the importance of Stewardship Month is not to get the offerings up. Well, that's good. I'm not going to argue about this part of it. But, oh, if, you, if, the, if the family units are healthy, they'll give. If they're not financially healthy, they can't give. They're strapped. They can't do it. They just, they just can't do it. Now, they ought to tithe regardless. They ought to give offerings regardless. But you want to help them get to a point to where there's, there's some freedom there. Uh, you're not going to believe this, but we had two giant give it alls every year. One year, we our people gave two hundred thousand dollars cash in the spring and in, in the fall to pay off the bonds, and they gave it. They gave it. They gave it. Uh, now they can't do that if they're strapped. So okay, ne next, pass out commitment cards. Put those commitment cards in front of them. How many have your commitment cards? Raise your hand. Okay. Those that don't have them, raise your hand, pass them out again. I did Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night. I print up thousands of commitment cards. <laughs> They're going to get them in their hands one way or another. Uh, and God was so good to us. God was, now we didn't have deep pockets and we didn't have a lot of money in the bank. Now we had about $400,000 in the bank, but that was all uh, everybody else's money. <laughs> uh, daily running balance, they used to call it. Um, now, I'm just saying to you, uh, you, this is not, the idea is not so that we want to get people saved. We want the gospel out. We started 1,700 churches, 30 years I was there. We gave $9.3 million to missions. You can't do that. You can't do that if there's not strength and stability on, on finances with the family unit. So that's the idea. Stewardship Month, hope it, hope it helped you. Hope it helped you. God bless you. I hope you take advantage of these. Um, this uh, Ministry Moments podcast and Ministry Moments YouTube, and go to Bob Gray Sr., subscribe, and then go to softchurchproblems.com, subscribe there. I would suggest you subscribe there because of the fact there's so many tools in that toolbox that can be found there, and we're trying to improve it all the time. God bless you. Soul winning. Yeah. Go check on your guests and converts and get them ready for Sunday morning. By the way, church starts with Sunday school. Just a thought. God bless.